Hello, beautiful family of light and beings of love and all the infinite goodness that I know you are, and I feel within myself too. This is a very quick video that I'm preparing and recording and uploading today because after <laughs> five attempts, this is the fifth attempt of, uh, of actually trying to get something out there today. I'm actually recording and it's actually working this time and all my settings are right. So yeah, hi, welcome folks. Here is Zach Eater coming to you from the United Kingdom. Today is a Wednesday and it is the evening time. It is a little bit dark outside. Today on this short video, <laughs> it was a bit longer. But <clears throat> I'm just going to be talking openly about what I've been up to, what I'm feeling inspired by and yeah how i'm doing really it's been quite a while since i've just done a video like this christmas eve was the last time i just came on and just did a video so i felt like yeah there's a few things that i've been up to that i felt like i just wanted to share so <clears throat> before i get into anything i'm just going to plug a few things so number one would be yeah i've been doing a few interviews recently they've been members of the united healing collective and that's been really awesome been really enjoying those interviews and it's something that I feel I will be doing a lot more of in time to come. I also want to say as well, um, I have this intention. I know that talking with people online is like messaging, text messaging, yeah, great. Phone calling, yeah, great. But then what about being able to just do a live stream, kind of like this, but a live stream? and post like an invitation link for people to be able to come on and uh, just join the live stream and we can just have a chat. Um, yeah, just just have a chat about anything. So that's something I'm considering doing maybe once a week to start with on a particular time and a particular day where, yeah, I can do that. And we can just live stream and have a chat, an open conversation kind of thing. I think that'd be cool. So that's an idea. Uh, other things I've been up to every week on a Thursday, I've been doing a presentation with a friend of mine Chris Scriven we've been doing this we've created this kind of group this personal development meetup group it's almost like a it's almost like a free life coaching group coaching group <laughs> community called be the change collective and it's been going really well last week I did a presentation it was the best presentation I've actually ever done it was it was called letting go of our blocks emotional and mental healing and of course we're trying to our kind of like our target target audience is really anyone who wants to better themselves and so we're kind of focused on the kind of personal development keyword because there's a lot of people out there who may not be so spiritually orientated or are in the process of waking up and you know so we're trying to <laughs> I've been finding it really hard actually. It's like trying to kind of almost almost tame myself so that we don't alienate people from coming, but also being authentic and finding that balance. For me it's been interesting. I've just ended up just being fully like, oh yeah, let's talk about aliens and 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 love energy and and everything that you could possibly go in terms of being esoteric i went there and have and will continue to but yeah it's been interesting and it's been really good so that that presentation was fantastic i still need to share it actually um and it's a really cool group so yeah by all means if anybody who's interested in coming along feel free to jump on the meeting uh, i'll be sharing that on my profile um probably today actually or tomorrow yeah, it will be tomorrow because the event is tomorrow and yeah, so that's happening every week and that's going really well and we're helping people and it just feels good. You know, I came out of that presentation last week and I was like, yeah, that felt good. It feels good just to know that you've given all that helpful information, like those tools, the tools that I'm giving to people at the moment, uh, they, they're just really powerful and a lot of people don't realize that they can actually heal themselves they don't even know that it's possible people think oh i have a mental health condition and they'll just kind of stay in that identity for for years or even a whole lifetime 
and that's their path. But it's also possible to lift ourselves up out of it. And so those are the people that I'm looking for, the people that I want to help and want to work with are those who actually actively want to help themselves because that's the way it's got to work. So that's happening. I also, a couple of weeks ago, got my first ever paid coaching client, which was huge, <laughs> really big deal for me. I, <laughs> yeah, so I'm working with him at the moment. It's going really well. That's to do with emotional healing. And it's just like, wow, okay, this is all just coming together. And yeah, he just found me through synchronicity. It was beautiful. So that's cool. I also have this kind of conflict. I've got the, the emotional healing, life coaching direction that I have. I know it's kind of like my ultimate life path. It's what I'm here for. It's how I'm helping people, which is great. But then I also have this kind of e-commerce brand that I've been working with for the past five years, creating it from scratch with my business partner. And it's been a long time coming. And it's one of those things where I realized like I've got, I've got these two paths that I could take or maybe a third path, which is somewhere in the middle where I can do both. But what I've realized about myself is to be successful in anything, and this generally applies to anything in life, no matter who you are, generally speaking, to be successful in anything, we need to put like 100% of ourselves into one thing at a time. Chase two rabbits and you'll lose both. It's an old saying, and it's not necessarily always true, but it's a good saying. And that's what I've done a lot in the past years, gone past. It's like I was working my full-time job. I was, I was having this other project that I was trying to achieve the same thing with this other project. And yeah, I had a lot on my plate, and I just didn't have this fire lit really underneath me to really take it to the next level. And now I've created a different lifestyle for myself that I've been manifesting for years. And I'm just really pleased that I have because it has freed me up in a lot of ways. It's freed me up to be able to be like, yeah, okay, I can work with coaching clients. I can do anything. But I realize now, and my conflict has been for, for months now, honestly, but I'm pretty certain in the direction I'm going in now. But the conflict was like, I've got this e-commerce brand I can put 100% of myself in that. I've got this coaching work, life coaching, emotional healing. I put myself 100% behind that. That was a belief. That is a belief that I need to put 100% of myself behind it. But what I've realized is like, why not just create more financial security for myself in that direction, which is going to enable me in the long term to help people more in any direction, you know? I know it's a very backwards way of looking at it as well, in a way. It's like, it kind of goes against the law of attraction and repulsion, you know? It's like, <laughs> focusing on the stuff that we feel is going to get us to a certain destination but not actually doing the stuff that is that destination kind of thing. It's okay. I just, I've had some, some conflict within myself about that, but now I realize, yeah, I'm just going to make it happen. I need to make it happen. It's like with that e-commerce brand, if I just, drop it if I just cut it out and just be like right I'm going to entirely focus on this other stuff everything will work out but it will just feel like <laughs> what a waste the amount of energy I've put into that whole project this if I was to just throw it away now it's like no I can't do that I can't do that I need to <laughs> I think I don't need to do anything but I want to make it happen with that project it's like just for myself it's like actually make something really happen you know and then i know with absolute certainty right i've done that i can tick that off my list and then i can move on to other stuff so yeah that's been my 
it's been my inner dialogue these past few weeks and even months in a way but yeah that's so that's cool that's what's been going on in that department i also have this um <laughs> this <laughs> logo so i have my own digital marketing kind of brand that i have and i've recently created a new logo for it the brand is called visual wizardry digital marketing and multimedia design and this is the logo that i've made and i think it's quite appropriate for my audience because it's because of what it is so yeah visual wizardry of course i i use fibonacci spirals to create all of this you can see that curl curl in the hat there is actually um, a spiral of the golden ratio you know you will see that in nature like crab shells it's the same spiral that's just inherently natural and in, in alignment with the geometries of this universe so i that was a part of throwing that in there and brand colors that i've gone for are kind of like a turquoise gold and deep blue which i uh, just really I'm very fond of and so I'm probably going to use it as my overall brand colors and this eye here now the interesting thing is one bit of feedback I've got already from a, from a peer regarding this logo is like hey don't you think that's a little bit Illuminati <laughs> and yeah yeah hell yeah it is but at the same time no like the brand is called visual wizardry and so the eye represents the visual part of it and there's absolutely zero intention of any kind of Masonic or illumined in that way uh, relation to it so yes yeah, no there's no connection there inherently or meant or intended for and this yeah so looking in this eye it's just a kind of typical fact to eye but then I've got the six pointed star and the six represents I think six represents my life number I can't remember my numerology but so that's appropriate for me and then I've got this 12 pointed mandala coming off here as well which just adds another effect so I've been through so many different versions of this design but here it is and then we've got the VW which makes up the wizard's beard it looks quite sharp and ominous but I quite like it and it contrasts with the kind of curly more natural soft gentleness of the rest of the top of the hat but yeah this pointed beard obviously you can make out well obviously the vw which represents the visual wizardry and uh, yeah so it's all there and i've been playing around with different fonts the typography has been probably one of the most challenging parts so yeah that's something else i've been doing i spent almost four days playing around with this the past few days and it's just yeah i've just got to move on to something else to to do so yeah that, that brings me on to my next point which is this friday i'm doing a presentation with my mentor and friend and teacher my spiritual one of my top spiritual teachers who i am also an apprentice of officially and um which is a real honor i've never actually shared that as of yet to anybody else on my facebook like this so here it is but yeah, and in this presentation, I said to him, I really want to, I feel inspired to do a presentation about the procession of the equinox. So, yeah, I just feel that <clears throat> with the procession of the equinox, to those who are aware of what it is, it's one of those things that really can help explain why we're ascending. Like, why? Like, do you know how incredibly outlandish and, like, what kind of thing? that is to someone who has no idea about any of this kind of spiritual metaphysical alternative viewpoint just about everything <laughs> so i wanted to do a presentation why are we ascending well this is a part of it and so talking about the photon band for example that gets emitted from the center of the milky way galaxy and almost all of this content that I'm going to be sharing on Friday is going to be coming from this book, <laughs> this old mind pretzeler. Yes, yes, yes. So I read this book, The Pleiadian Agenda, A New Cosmology for the Age of Light, introduced by Brian Schwimm and authored by Barbara Handclough. 
This book I first read in 2014 and turned my mind into a pretzel, which was fantastic because it was the second book I'd actually read about, well, this stuff. <laughs> and yeah, it just blew my mind. You know that time, I think everybody who goes through their awakening at some point or another, when they start stumbling on the more advanced information or not even advanced you know some people that it just comes to that point where the ego has no other choice but to expand its box of awareness and consciousness and thus we expand our conscious awareness in the process as well naturally and this that was one of those moments for me 2014 reading this book and in it in this book contains a lot of information and a lot of content about the procession of the equinox and on a galactic level as well not so much on the universal level of the universal shift in consciousness that's occurring right now, but this very much dives into the the more the dynamics between our solar system, the central sun in the Pleiades, and the galactic center, which, yeah, it's just brilliant. So if you're interested in jumping on the live stream, it's going to be held on Brad Johnson, New Earth Teachings YouTube channel this Friday it's going to be starting live at 11 a.m. Pacific time in the United States which is going to be 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the States which is going to be 7 p.m. UK time and that's this Friday coming and the presentation I'll be doing yeah, will go on for 10 to 20 minutes tops so yeah those of you who are interested in learning about the procession of the equinox and the grander, bigger picture of things in that way, feel free to join us. <laughs> and there'll also be a Q&A section as well. If you're sticking around for that, where you'll be able to ask um, possibly, well, well, Brad and Adronus, the uh, consciousness that he channels, questions, whether personal or otherwise. So that'd be cool if you want to come along. So that's happening. I've also got... I'm also moderating the Adronus webinar this Saturday. I can't remember what that's called, but that's it looks really good. Um, yeah, I won't plug that now. And this Sunday, I'm also doing a bit, an interview with Sharon Wood of Cosmic Twin Tarot. That's her own brand. And she is an intuitive card reader. She's also trained and now certified as a neuro-linguistic programming master. And also is looking into doing quantum release therapy which is essentially from what i can take of it is just like inner work it's an inner work modality shadow work modality and uh, yeah doing the interview with her on sunday is going to be good just going to ask her some questions about her journey and what she's doing and how she's working with people and how she's helping people and stuff like that yeah usual kind of interview format that I've been running now for the past few interviews, which has been cool. And that's something else I want to continue with as well. Like I'm really enjoying these interviews. I think they're really good. Um, just being able to exchange that energy and just to be able to listen to people uh, about their path and ask some questions. And I even got the honor of having someone interview me uh, a couple of days ago, which is really good. Brilliant. Love that interview. So yeah, all good in general. I am doing really well right now. I am feeling really good in myself. I still have this kind of conflict, this ego battle going on about with belief systems about the path I should take. Oh, e-commerce brand, coaching, like, or a mixture of the two, but I'm pretty sure I know which way I want to go. And yeah, just generally feeling good, having to keep myself right, risen up, uh, keeping my vibration high. It naturally seems to be staying higher than it has ever been in my life which is good and i know that that's the same for so many of you watching this and i wish that for everybody uh i also yeah still got you know as we all do we've all got plenty of shadow work to do continuously all of us doesn't matter where or who you are generally of course there's some people that have done a lot of their shadow work and that's their path and they're of a very high vibration, but of course there's many, the vast majority of the collective who need to keep doing it and will for the next few decades, this century. It's exciting times. 
So yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I haven't really been doing that much shadow work myself, to be honest. I've just been really focused on creating. Um, I haven't even been meditating that much, nowhere near as much as I would like to be. Uh, it's just, I feel it's a phase that I'm going through right now where I'm just really, I'm playing the 3D game a lot. Like, I feel that, like, I'm, I'm playing the 3D game a lot, and it's just the way it's going right now. I'm just really into doing all this stuff, whether it's creating logos, websites, helping people, talking to people, um, and again, want to be doing more of that. But yeah, things are cool. And thank you for watching this. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for sharing the space and your energy in in the way that this is. And yeah, I wish you all lots of love, lots of love, lots and lots of love. And I'm going to tune in again. And yeah, as I said, I'm going to try and make the well, I'm going to be doing something weekly. I'm going to start doing a weekly thing, a weekly live, probably half an hour to an hour tops. I'll come on, I'll talk like this and get people to join if they want to. I'll put a link in the comments and people will be able to join in with the live stream. I think that'll be really interesting. And I know that there'll be a lot of people that will be excited about that and just have the opportunity to come on and have a chat with someone, you know, because I know there's plenty of people out there right now who almost don't have anyone to turn to, you know, like almost want. They need someone to talk to. They need support. They need someone who can listen without judging them. And I feel like this would be a good medium of doing it. Even though it's live and it's, and it's technically in front of the entire world. <laughs> you know? It would still be cool. And it would be cool just to have a chat. And just to chat about whatever. So, yeah, I'm open to that and I'll facilitate that soon. Much love to you all. Thank you. And uh, peace be with you.